Hello over yonder, it's your girl Definite Deborah, and we out here on in these Sunday streets. Um, long time no see, but it's good to be seen. Now my eyes on the road. I just want to talk to y'all. This is for the wives who are dealing with this whole tension associated with this AMC stock with they husband, their companion. Um, every day I'm inundated with all these YouTube videos from different individuals who are talking about the stock market, talking about uh, Arrington, and it's when you go to work, when you wake up, when you come home from work, I just had to say something for the wives. Had to say something for the wives. Uh, you know, I hope this Moaz just come on. Just happen. I just wish uh, things would turn around where uh, the people will be able to say something in regards to, to uh, the dude and get some things rolling and then that the SEC or whoever that is, cause as far as I know, uh, SEC always being the southern, the south southeast eastern conference, which had to do with uh, football. But now I'm here at SEC, and I'm like, wow, that's totally different, you know. So you're not talking about Florida, the Gators uh, playing against uh, Crimson Tide. We're talking about the stock market. Well, I want to say that nothing that I have to say is uh, advice. This is stuff that I've just tried on my own. And so uh, wives well, companions honey just get your, you can, you know you're sitting there, you, you can't get his attention and all this uh, frustration in the air the same tension that they have when watching a football game. is. That's the same tension that I see my husband experience. I'm like, wow, wow, dude. But it's about making the score. And so the apes, they holding on to the end. And I'm looking for their uh, their moas sort of take place. And they break the bank the same way the people broke the bank with GameStop. Now, this AMC stock is at an all-time low. And uh, I have a mind to go purchase me a little bit. In 2020, I had quite a bit and end up selling. And sometimes, when I look at the height of how it peaked, I'm like, I should have kept my stock and, and just basically sold out. Because I bought low. And I just chose, I said, well, I'm going to just get rid of this stuff. But, but, um, I bought out. I mean, I just sold everything I had. Y'all, this is a nice gift that I'm about to take to someone. My friend, Tamaya, made this for our friend. We're celebrating because he got a kidney about three weeks ago so anywho this is definitely deborah the wife of a man holding for the moaz to take take place yeah we're waiting for the moaz and i look forward to that moaz you know what when i first heard someone say moaz i was like why in the world are we sitting here listening uh Listening to this dude, cause he was like, "We need a Moaz, apes, apes. We need, we need a Moaz." And you know they talking about uh, Moaz over and over again. And I'm like, "What in the world? The apes need a Moaz?" And but uh, that that tell you where my mind was. No, I wouldn't. It just sound like it was saying just what it sound like. Uh, but anyway, 
I am looking forward to whatever needs to take place it taking place and I I may not speak as well as other individuals there are some ladies that are on and they talk about how they have money in the stock market I, I first acquired my stock through cash out cash out was my first place for buying stock now um, I had quite a bit of stock and I just sold it I'm like man how in the world are they doing this I'm losing money but you know I realized that the the main people that's able to get a, a, a payout are invested in a um, long term stock where you pay in and you're basically there for dividends you want dividends you want something that you can get paid on um, every quarter and so you know I shot myself in the foot by getting out of some stock that I had purchased because later on I get the letter and um, I basically made like three dollars what have you but you know if you have the money and you can really put in it is a lot to get out here in these stock market investment streets and I'm just learning I'm just learning and the thing about the cash out cash out has a, a little I like to watch um, um, it's going to come to me and I'm going to tell you but uh, cash out not only allows you to buy stock but you can buy bitcoin on cash out and so they have this uh and you can send people crypto yeah you can send crypto and cash out has gotten so bougie until now you can file your taxes on cash out and so i have i have uh looked into and got about three dollars of bitcoin <laughs> anyway i want to tell you how much i got but uh, Cash App has this feature where it tells you if it's a moderate buy, uh, if it's if you should sell, if you should hold. So if you are beginning with stock, you know people talk about Weeble and um, goodness, right now I can't even name them. But there are other apps that I've used. But I like Cash App in particular because. You can have money gifted to you and you can just immediately put it on stock that you want to buy. So Cash App is a really good place to start investing for some people. I'm not saying this for everybody. And I'm saying this is not uh, financial advice. This is what has been lucrative for me. And I'm talking to these individuals who are seeking to learn about investment and to the women who this is a wife of an ape and uh, who is waiting for a Moaz who is looking for uh, Arrington Aaron whatever his name is to be dealt with properly come on people let's get it together let's get this this money in because they feel like the retailers that they're going to continue to run run our game on retailers and i'm really looking for the the retailers to run game on them the way they ran game on them with game stop and hopefully the game will truly stop with amc uh and but you know this stuff is really it is it's set up for the rich to get richer for the one percent to continue to stack to stack some money and so i'm just really evaluating is it a good time also to buy in so um last i looked it was like 
six bucks. And so, at your own discretion, buy in. At your own discretion, hold. At your own discretion, sell. So this has been the wife of a husband that's waiting on a Moaz. I want to tell the other wives, I want to tell the other companions, hang on in there and um, realize that they might need their shoulders massaged. They may need you to bring them a little soda or whatever it is that they drink uh, to the couch or to the recliner, wherever that is. Have their dinner ready. So this will help relieve part of the tension that is going on with them. So this is definitely Deborah, and I definitely have signed on, and now I'm signing off. I want you to know that I love you real hard, and ain't nothing you can do about it.